Okay, here's a quick video on how to adjust the no load speed on your 8V71 or 6V71 series. With uh, This is for a GM coach, is what this particular style of governor is on. Um, if you remove this, this little screw right here, this is your idle screw, so this is how you can adjust your idle. Get it set to about 500 RPM. Make sure you're using a tachometer before you're screwing with anything in here. Make sure you have a tachometer on your engine. Engine will be running, uh, and you'll just adjust this until you get the idle that you want. Uh, if you do have um, the buffer screw up here, uh, make sure that you, it wouldn't be falling down like this because I have it vertical right now, but um, make sure that's backed off. And when you do tighten that, that it's going to make contact in there. When it does make contact, you don't want the engine RPM to increase more than like 15 RPM with that. Uh, that's not what that's for. That's not for made for uh, setting your your idle. It's just made, it's just the buffer. Uh, this is your no load right here. So if you loosen this locking nut on here, and if you tighten it, turning it clockwise, you're going to increase your engine RPM. Uh, I definitely recommend if you're increasing your RPM that you're very careful not to over rev your engine. I have mine set at 2300 and I've not had issues with it. Some people caution it. Is it better for your engine to run it at a no load maximum speed of like 1800 RPM? Yes, it's better. It's better for the engine. It's running slower. It's going to run forever. Increasing it's got a little bit harder on the engine. But if you over rev it and you're going too fast, you know, the piston's coming up, the valve hasn't fully, you know, retracted yet, you're going to let the top of the piston meet with the valve and you're going to have a catastrophic failure. So if you do increase your no load speed, so now your maximum speed on your coach, let's say it's 65 mile an hour, when you come down a big hill, don't stay in that gas Next thing you, or on the throttle. Next thing you know, you're going, uh, you know, 70 mile an hour and you're definitely going to over rev it in that case and destroy your engine. So if you, if you are increasing this, just be cautious that when you're coming down a hill to so back off of the throttle so that you're not going over whatever your maximum speed is. Plus, you got to watch what your transmission is set for. Mine, I have a VH9 uh, on the coach right now, and its maximum input RPM, I think, is 2200 RPM. So I'm running it at 2300 no load, which is about, uh, usually it's about 150 off of whatever your no load is, what your load RPM is. So you're going to be around you know, 2150 uh, in that case. So it's still okay, but if you go up to 2350 or 2400, I know some people that are like 2450, they talk about marine engines that are set that high. You're definitely running a risk of having that overspeed issue the higher you go. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend really anything over 2300. And even in that case, I'm not necessarily recommending it for you. This is just what I've done. Um, but a lot of people don't know, you know, there's nothing in the GM book about how to set this governor and what these things do. Uh, they didn't want drivers screwing with it. So if you get the Detroit actual manual on it, the whole process on how to set your uh, to do your tuning in here and everything you need to set in your governor is in there. It's a very simple operation once you understand how it works, but it seems to be kind of a secret that nobody wants to talk about. So anyway, this is how you set your no load. Very, very easy. Just make sure you're using a tachometer and be careful what you do. And I am not responsible.